Thank you for tuning in to the Cassandra Aaron Show one more time. God bless you. Um, thank you for your responses. Um, thank you for your positive remarks. Uh, we're going to hit it, and we're going to hit it quick. We only got 30 minutes, right? And so those of you who have been following me and watching my show, you know I have a book, Don't Let the Hope Break You. Don't Let the Hope Break Your God-Given Purpose. And so I had some comments on last week, and um, I want to talk about two of them. And if y'all want to respond, y'all could jump in. Um, one response was um, they was very happy to see that me and my um, ex-husband is acting, acting civilized. They could not believe that we are still friends um, and we're still getting along. We still, um, uh, 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 he still is my best friend to this day for 26 years, right? So I thank you for giving me a shout out. Um, another pastor said that um, I gave her hope because her husband, um, who was the pastor, and he stepped out on her. However, um, I, I brought her hope. So thank God for that. Amen. 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 Let me tell you, what God put together, let no man separate. Um, don't let the hope take your husband. Amen. Amen. You just continue to pray, continue to fast, continue to do the will and the work of God. Seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all this stuff will be added unto you. Amen. 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 All right. And then I had a negative comment um, from a male and the male said that, um, uh, uh, you know, I seem like I'm a bitter woman. He said, you, t you know, your book is personal. Um, your book is personal, personal um, and that you, uh, you're bitter and you're angry and that you're calling all women hoes and all women's not hoes. Okay, so we're going to conclude. We're going to start the show on that comment. Because first of all, I'm not bitter. I'm not angry. The Bible says that you overcome by the words of your testimony. So I'm here because I went through something in my life. I went through something in my marriage. And so I overcame it and I wrote about it and I'm talking about it so that it could be a blessing to somebody else. Now listen, I had a past. I'm not perfect. Nobody on this panel is um, perfect. And so we all had a past. We all probably hold, prostitute, rob, stole, smoke, got high. You, we did a lot of things before we got saved. And so therefore, I'm not talking about what we did in our past. What I am addressing is the Christian family. I'm addressing the Christian family because we still should have values and we should still should have standards. We still should keep God on the high. Do you not agree? So I, I, that's my responsibility to bring the Christian family to the expectations of God. We shouldn't be hoeing in the church. We shouldn't be sleeping around in the church. We shouldn't be um, just doing anything in the name of Jesus. All right. And that's my stance on it. Anybody else want to say something? I definitely agree. Um, we have to take a stand to be better. Our youth are looking at us and watching us. So for us to stand and walk in royalty and walk in righteousness in God's name, it shows and gives an example to our youth. And I think that's very important. We need to bring that back because our youth are getting misguided and it's on us to bring them back. So you have to control that. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. As far as the men are concerned, mm -hmm. uh, when I look at the word whole, I've been there, I've done that. Amen. To be real. To Amen. be 100 with everybody. Amen. And so the yeah. thing is, is that I still fall short of the glory of God. But I thank God for loving me back into a whole Amen. incomplete man. Amen. Where I learned to honor a woman. Amen. And so Amen. when you look at the church body, the man has just as much responsibility for what they what happens with the woman okay. because we are the leaders okay. and so how is a woman ever led unless we lead her to it All right. and so my thing is is that the book is not a book that just reflects the women okay. I have to look at it as a man too All right. okay. and then you know like I was saying before I went to SWU Sidewalk University okay. and on the sidewalk I learned some things All right. but it wasn't the right things to bring into a marriage All right. and so I lost yeah. the first one Okay. okay. By being the hope. All right. And so the thing is, is that I lost riches. All right. But you know what? God restored all of those Amen. once he brought me back and I returned to my first love. Amen. Amen. And so I just want to say that little tidbit for right now. Amen. Well, thank Amen. you for that. And that's uh, and, and tell them your name. My name is Charles Trimble. No, and what's your I'm title? I'm a pastor. <laughs> so, Amen. You know, a, title, a title to me doesn't mean anything unless you can see the fruit thereof. Amen. 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 Pastor Tim, you want to say something? Um, Kids, kids today, 
they they take from what you do, mm -hmm. not from what you say. That's All true. Right. That's true. And, and kids today, they're looking at the government. Mm -hmm. A lot of governments nowadays are passing reefer and they smoke it anywhere. Mm -hmm. But it's not right in God's sight. But they're doing it anyway. But but if God convicts you, if you feel a strong conviction not to do, then don't do. That's the Holy Spirit talking to you. Amen. 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 All right, let's just jump in our topic from my book, Don't Let the Hope Break You. We're going to talk right about Jezebel because a lot of people are being caught in her web. Mm -hmm. And so, therefore, yes. we want to pull you out of that web because when you get wrapped up and tangled in Jezebel, it's hard to get out. I want you to know that right now. Amen. So, I got a question for Charles. Is Jezebel a wicked queen that, how, how do you see Jezebel? Good, good question. I don't see Jezebel as wicked. Ooh. I see Jezebel as misguided. Mm, okay. And in that, you know, if you have Jesus, you know, you, you have all truths. Mm -hmm. But see, Jezebel is only doing what she knows okay. how to do. The Bible says train up the child in the way that she go. You're trained up in that. That's the only thing you know. Okay. And so the thing is, we have to, we have to act according to knowledge and okay. all things. And have I met any Jezebels? I've met plenty of them. How they come? How they look? Well, recently they, they come... <laughs> they come <laughs> They come with good looks, yeah. but the thing in behind it is that they have something for you to do. Mm -hmm. They find out I know how to contract. They find out I know how to do this or I know how to do that. Okay. And so they use their persona, the flashing of the eye, to bring me in, get me to do work for them. All they right. They have no interest in me. Amen. And so it's not just a That's physical good. thing, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a material thing. That's right. And so That's once right. they're done with me, I know I'm on the side of the road. Did you see Jezebel? How, how does she look to you? Um, Very similar to what Pastor Tibbet said. I hope I said that right. Tribble. I'm sorry. <laughs> apologize. 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 Tribble. Hey, you Tribble. Pastor Tribble. Um, but no, I do. I believe it's very similar. Um. The appearance, the eye appearance, everything in glitters and gold, but you know mm. gold catches the eye. Yeah. So I feel like a lot of times the Jezebel spirit, male or female. That's right. It's the spirit. Dresses up in gold. Okay. You know, it's just like the movie on the Moana movie, mm -hmm. how it's a certain part of the movie they had a fake gem, they painted over it so that the crab could be distracted. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So they play, they paint on this distraction and they pull you in, like Pastor said. And if you're not aware, then you're swallowed up in that web, and it's hard to get out that web. Amen. So you got to be able to recognize the web. How do uh, Jezebel come to you? It comes to me like um, she's that she's that queen. She's the queen. Mm -hmm. And that web, she's trying to turn you around in her web. But it's up to you to play her heart, to play it and not get tangled around. That's how, that's how, that's how she makes love. Mm -hmm. But you got to untangle it. So when she pulls on that string, you're not caught. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. Now, thank you for that. But we know that Jezebel, and it's a spirit, she comes after the strong man, mm -hmm. right? She yes. looks for people that's in power. Yeah. She looks for people that's in wealth. Yeah. Yeah. She looks for people who have something. Mm -hmm. She looks for people who have family. Mm -hmm. She loves to destroy and break down families, that's right? Deal, and, so, and, and, and so, but, but we have to recognize her, and then we have to see her, and then we have to stop her. But she's very seductive. Mm -hmm. Right. right? Mm -hmm. She's very seductive. Yeah. First she starts with a stare. Mm -hmm. Right? She goes with a stare first. Okay. And then once she starts the staring, y'all think she's staring at y'all because she wants you. Mm -hmm. And then now she's whispering. Right? right. Now she come in at you. Now she's taught touching. Mm -hmm. Touching. Now from the second thing she starts touching. How you doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, how you doing, Pasta? <laughs> oh, Pasta. <laughs> And then after that, is the, then she's talking in the air. Right. Mm. Nobody knows you like I know you. Mm. Right? That's the favorite. I met a pastor the other day. He said, a woman, a Jezebel of spirit, gets you what? Nobody knows, knows. you mm. like I do. Mm. All right? And then, and, and, you know, and, and Jezebel is right there waiting for the pastors to go home. I cannot stand when I was up in the churches. And pastors uh, be home with their wives, and they get calls one, two o'clock in the no, morning, and talk about come and fix something. Like what? Fix what? Fix what? 
And pastors have told me that when they go over to their members' houses, that the women come to, to the doors either with no clothes on, mm. with, with negligee right. on, right. or whatever, looking seductive, knowing that the man is married. Right. That's just ridiculous. Yes, it is. Well, the, the, the thing is, is that man is moved by what he sees. Mm. Okay. And sometimes, yeah. we, sometimes we need to poke our own eyes out as men. <laughs> Especially, especially if we're married mm. because the thing is is that if we have the God that we say that we love and we, we pronounce our love to our wives mm -hmm. then it has to be secure yeah. and yes. the thing is to say well, if I get those calls yeah I'm bringing my wife with me so just be, prepared, be, be prepared because she is coming with me and then mm. you'll find out well I don't really need it today uh, maybe you can come by you know some other times mm -hmm. and when I did do work for single women when I was married mm -hmm. there was always this requirement Mm -hmm. that they asked my wife first. All right. Amen. And so Amen. that That's... she knew. Amen. Because, see, I put them, these women in the hand of my wife. Amen. Because, see, she knows a woman's spirit. All right, they do. And she told me not to go, I didn't go. Amen. But the thing is, is that we have to realize that the reality of all the things that happen around us, mm -hmm. there is a web out there. Amen. And not one man is so big that he can't get trapped. All right. Amen. Oh, go ahead, I'm sis. I definitely agree with that. Mm -hmm. um, we just we have to learn to be we have to be knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. We have to be more aware. So with that being said, we need to learn first of all what our true desires are within ourselves. Like he said, we need a secure relationship. If you're in a relationship with somebody, make sure that that's who you want to be with. Right. Don't mislead somebody because that's another web spiral. Mm, you know, that's, that's another. That's a, it could be another topic, but that's definitely another web. So you don't want to, you don't want to send nobody in different webs and get yourself caught up in the web too. Mm -hmm. So you, you can try to put a web out there and put yourself in one. All right. You know what I mean? All right. So you got to be honest with yourself and with the person you with. That look you said, that look, mm -hmm. that's that discerning look. When she's checking you out, and when she touches you, she's trying to feel that soft spot. Uh -huh. Where she can go at, what she can do, her limitations. Mm, okay. And, and 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 she's always feeling. She's always being seductive. She's always talking to see how far she can go. All right. Amen. 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 That's Amen. right. Wow. We have to deal with the issues because people think that we don't see this stuff, but we see it. Just because we ain't Christian, we are Christians. That don't mean that we, we are it. stupid and we blind that we don't see what's going on. Yeah. Amen. That is so true. That's why I don't like people hugging on me either. I, I, I hug them like from a distance, like right. like this. I'll be like this. <laughs> but now I'm older, so I'll be like, oh, what, 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 what? <laughs> down, oh, no, down that's true. Give me a real hug. There's a proper way to do everything. That's, that's right. That's, that's a real big issue in the church. I remember being a little girl, mm -hmm. and um, people were laying hands on somebody, and I, one pastor caught a woman, and he was kind of so close. I, as a 12 year old, I was like, I don't think that he should have grabbed her like that, but okay, Lord, I'm oh, just going to mind my business. Jesus. I was 12 years old, but I never forgot that. So mm -hmm. that's, that's mm -hmm. real true. It's the proper way to do everything. As a user, do we yes. agree? Mm -hmm. Yes. She will use you up and use you and use you and use you until so she you can't use mm -hmm. you no more. Yes. And then when she gets something better, she'll put you on the shelf and go and get somebody else just like that. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and talk about it. Well, after 22 years <laughs> of marriage, Jezebel divorced me. Your wife is Jezebel when you with the hoe. Now wait a minute, I'm confused. Well, the, the, the thing <laughs> you is, hoe around, I'm gonna leave you. The Bible says on the ground of adultery we can leave and abuse. 
the, the, well, the, the, the thing is, is that you have to realize is that the perspective of people change. Okay. I mean, you start going after physical attributes, whether uh, instead of going after the true love of your spouse. Okay. If you're going after money and things, and the only thing I can do for you is to give you money, okay. and that's the cost of your love, I can't be in it. Okay. And so yeah, there 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 is that spirit that lies in the marriage too. Okay. Because if you're not for me, then you must be against me. If you can't pray for me, who are you? Okay. And so the thing is, what separates that spirit can get into the middle of a marriage, okay. and and it can run rasha just like okay. anything else. And so um, we just have to call it for what it is, and okay. men do the same thing. Man, definitely. And so you know, I think some things were said about the look, the touch. Mm. Or if you ever stood in a pulpit before, you know what women can do. Oh, yeah. And so I'm you, a sometimes pastor, you, just I know. Have to, you have to go down to the other end of the pulpit just so you can get your message to me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, my, my thing is, is to understand that there is a spirit that runs in both in men and women. The fact of the matter is, let me tell you something. Women are very sensitive, right? Mm -hmm. and, and we are very, very sensitive, and we are territorial. Very. We do not want nobody around our man, sleeping with our man, touching our man. We are very territorial. And so, therefore, women, we hold a lot of stuff in. Mm -hmm. We hold stuff in, and we hold stuff in, and we hold stuff in until it builds up, right? And, and, and one thing I can't stand is a cheating, lying man. And that stuff festers in your heart, it festers in your spirit. And of course, at some point, you had enough, enough is enough. And now I don't have no more respect for you. Now I have no respect for you. I don't love you. I'm not, I, I might love you, but I'm not in love with you. And you have caused me now to be materialistic that now I love things more than you. That's real stuff. Go ahead, um, Tim. Tim wanted to say something. Oh, no, I was about to say, I remember like, um, this is going back some years ago. We was in the pulpit, uh -huh. and I was on fire for the Lord. I was on, I was on fire. Mm -hmm. I, I, I read the scriptures, and I was reading with the authority and the power and the unction of God. You had made it up. You was in glory. I was going. Mm -hmm. And I had to look down at somebody laying was gapped over with no underwear, oh, no pants. No, I said, I'm going to just not let you in the time. Yeah. <laughs> but things <laughs> like that do happen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and what did I do? We booped the little girl. Close your legs. Yeah, I, was, I did. I wanted to do more. Yeah. I wanted to fight her. I was like, Lord. I said, Lord, have mercy. I said, God, the prophet acting a fool in the church. But that that is so nasty. And literally, it is. literally, it is. she had her legs wide open yes, with no drawers on it. I said, I'm a Oh, yeah, he started. He started. Honey, I don't know what he started. He was speaking something. It wasn't a vowel. It was a strange tongue. Right. Anybody want to say something before I move on to the next one? Well, you did give a rebut about things. Things have a purpose, you know, the physical things. But I think also when you deal with relationship, in the breakdown of relationship, things don't resolve anything. It does. It does. Uh, I think we all should prosper. And so, you know, I just want to put that in there also. You, and you right. just thought, and that is so true because it is very um, true. When, when I went through my stuff, God had blessed me tremendously, right? Exactly. Um, he has blessed me with a lot of material things, mm -hmm. right? But you know that stuff did not make you happy mm -hmm. because it don't make you happy because I mean I might have been driving in this and I might have been living in this and I might have had all this stuff and things but you, if you don't have love it don't mean nothing I'm here I'm driving but I I feel I feel like I'm alone like I like I don't feel like nobody loves me I don't feel like nobody cares for me the thing that I spent all my life is gone you still things don't make you happy so yeah. go ahead I was gonna say that was perfect um material things you can't buy love with material you things you can't entice somebody with materialistic things or money that's not a relationship that's not how you gain love build an empire that's just not the way to go and I think a lot of men nowadays try to go that route as well mm -hmm. um women been trying to do it for a long time but I see now men are starting to do that a little bit more these days and that's something that needs to be addressed as well mm-hmm notice to people think that a way to a man is is through food no it's not no it's building his it's building him up all right okay. it's building him up and it, it, it's like honey you can do that you can have that job you can you can have that and, and then once you build a man up all right. You can go. That's more than material thing. That's okay. more than having that car that 
that that house, whatever you want in life. Amen. When you build a man up, his ego, his self esteem, that that goes much further. That's true. That's true. I agree with that. I'm Hard. guilty of it. I'm guilty. I'll call. I'll call somebody a dumb butt in a month, in a minute. I'll get. I'll do, I do. And I'm guilty. I'm guilty. That's wrong. That's wrong. I'm just, I've I, done it before. Yeah. I, you know. You when you say stupid stuff and you just make me mad, I'm just gonna call you dumb. I'm gonna call you stupid. I'm gonna call you retarded. I'm gonna just. I, and it's not right because, like it's you not. said, that tears down a man's. Ego, it, it tells it out a man's self esteem, and I'm guilty of it. I'm, mm -hmm. I've been guilty of it, um, and I'm sorry. They say we don't like to be told what to do. Oh. Fact. Oh. But the thing is, encouragement comes in, in a different manner. It does. And so don't put me on the calendar until you talk to me. All right. And so I think that's one of the, the issues that uh, most women. When they get a husband or somebody in their life, they put you on the calendar without asking you. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of like being thrown, not in the pool of Bethesda, but in the pool of hell. <laughs> Soul ties, because people don't understand that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you lay with, first of all, she's a proud, right? I mean, we say she's a proud, but she's a spirit. She's proud right now. Right. right. She's proud right now. That's why we got to continue to stay. Cause after this show, right. she gonna come after us. I'm letting you know oh, right now. Definitely. Yeah. So uh, she's a proud. She's a proud. They're watching. They're watching mm -hmm. who they may devour. Mm -hmm. Jezebel, the spirit of Jezebel comes to kill, steal, steal and, and destroy. destroy. Mm -hmm. And and so she 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 prouds because she wants to enter your soulish. The soulish realm. Right. Mm -hmm. She wants to get your power. She wants to get your anointing. She wants to get your gifts. Mm -hmm. And then when you get laid with Delilah, then you're polluted. She got you. Amen. You're polluted, you're deluded, and you're weak. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't get out of the web of Jezebel. How do you get out? Good question. Well, uh, just to, to break it down a little bit. <laughs> what what, right comes, now, what comes out of the soul? You got your intellect, your emotion. I mean, you got all this transference of spirit. And so once you get a person in there, you, you, you're playing with the devil. And, and that the devil is not really playing. He doesn't want your stuff either. He wants your mind, your heart. He wants everything in your soul. And so how do you get out? Only through prayer. Only mm -hmm. through prayer and a change, a drastic change in your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, once you realize that you do have value and that you are a child of God, then you can you could probably just do about anything because man can't do anything with you unless you let God out of your life. Amen. But a lot of times we are so hurt and dismayed that we'll allow anybody into our lives. And so this thing with the mental illness, mm -hmm. the esteem, the encouragement, mm -hmm. we all need that. Okay. And so and it needs to come from people who really truly understand right. love. Like I tell people all the time, I didn't. Mom, I had a house for my my mother and father drunk all day and fought all the day, stabbed each other and cut each other, and so I really didn't know how to love. And then um, because I I always look for abusive relationships, right? right. Because that's all I seen. I wanted a man that I know it, it sounds distorted, but it is the truth. I wanted a man like you love me, beat me up, beat me up if you love me. It's stupid, it's retarded, but I didn't know, right? right. And so then when I met this guy, when I met Pastor Aaron, he he come with his little meek, his meek, humble spirit, and I'm like, hey, come on, fight, let's fight, come on, won't you fight me? Like, why you not fighting? Why you not arguing? Why you not cursing? And so, and, and so, you like you said, you do what your environment shows you to do. And if you don't know no better, you don't do no better. And so, and I've been in church now 26 years. I'm so sorry it had to take a divorce, but now I know better. But thank God it's not too late, right? Amen? Amen. It's not too Amen. late to change. Oh, no, and so no, no. we have to deal with real life issues. Right. And I all oh, my pastor told me the other day, she said, Prophetess, people gonna like you if you tell the truth. Mm -hmm. They gonna like you if you don't mm -hmm. tell the truth. Mm -hmm. They just gonna don't like you just at all. Right. Just be honest and be truthful because mm -hmm. as long as you can talk touch one person's soul, that's all that matters. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 So thank you for bringing that out. Yeah, you're right. Just need to be more aware. Yeah, yeah, just need to be more aware. And like Pastor said, we need to be more focused on love. We need to we gotta love ourselves first mm -hmm. to even right. be able to receive love from somebody else. That's right. Exactly. So when you wake up in the morning, encourage yourself. Tell yourself you're beautiful because you are. God wouldn't woke you up. You know what I mean? God woke us up, brought us all here for a reason. We have to remember that. We have to learn to love ourselves first. We can't love nobody else till we love ourselves. Amen. Amen.
I tell you, all the women you had, all the men you had, or if you go both ways or, or any way, it's all in your soul. It's, it's attached to you. It doesn't go away mm -hmm. until Jesus Christ himself can break it up for you. Mm -hmm. that, that's the way it goes away, mm -hmm. through Christ. Mm -hmm. Everybody you've been with is on your soul. Mm -hmm. every, every kid you had is evidence that you had that kid. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it's, so, um, it's so real that, that you need to just come to God and repent and ask him to, for help and, and he'll help you. He'll care who you are. He'll, he'll help you. He'll guide you. He'll, and he'll show you how to get out of it. Amen. He's a great lawyer. He's a great doctor. He's he's great. With, um, he is great like that. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 I always tell people Jezebel, honey, would make the ugly uh -huh. look good. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Makeup. You, you have, don't. Who? Wait a minute. Because I, 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 you know, used to be like, oh my God, what is he doing with her? Have you ever did that? Like, oh, what is she doing with him? Yeah. Because she has a she has a way of the making the most ugliest person look beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so Amen. you got to be so careful with that because she and she has the the, the, the she has a way to make you, even beautiful people look ugly. <laughs> mm -hmm. But she don't know nobody <laughs> anyway. Anyway, yeah. she'll portray like she's the most beautiful, most friendliest, most like but honey. Deep down inside, she is wicked, mm -hmm. she is evil, and there is no good inside of her. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen? So you have to be so careful. I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. I definitely um, believe we need to encourage our, uh, encourage our men and uplift our men. Women, we need to come together also and encourage and uplift each other. Yes. And I just think we need to be more of the example to our youth. All right. uh, like you said, a lot of people are misguided. Some people grew up in crazy households. So for those of us that recognize this, let's try to help be that example exactly. for them to give them something to look at so they would know how to properly proceed in life. Amen. We need the pioneers to rise up in this day and age. Amen. And so I'm really truly blessed to be your friend. Aww, Amen. thank you. Oh, you're going to make me melt. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Hey, that concludes the show. God bless you. Love you. We'll see you all next week. Hey, we'll see, see you all next week. Amen. We'll see you.